The Philippines becomes the first foreign customer for the BrahMos cruise missile system jointly developed by India and Russia, with the government in Manila formally awarded the contract of 375 million US dollar. In a notice to BrahMos Aerospace, Philippine Department of National Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana wrote, this is to inform you that the proposal of BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited for the shore-based anti-ship missile system acquisition project for the Philippine Navy is hereby accepted. The notice has also been issued for providing performance security. The process for the acquisition of the medium-range supersonic cruise missile by the Philippines Armed Forces suffered a setback because of the COVID-19 pandemic but is now finalized. Few days ago, it was reported that the Philippines Department of Budget Management, two special allotment release orders worth 1.3 billion pesos and 1.535 billion pesos were issued on 27 December to cover the initial funding requirements for the shore-based anti-ship missile system acquisition project of the Philippine Navy. A team from the Philippine Navy visited the production unit of BrahMos Aerospace in Hyderabad earlier as part of the acquisition process. The BrahMos Integration Complex in Hyderabad is responsible for integration of mechanical systems and assembling electronic systems. Various subsystems fabricated in other centers in India and Russia are integrated and checked at this complex. The Philippines Armed Forces are implementing a revised modernization program and a contract for two corvettes was signed by the Navy with South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries on 28 December. Both sides were keen on signing a deal during a proposed visit by President Rodrigo Duterte early in 2021, but the plan fell through because of the widespread disruptions caused by the pandemic. The Philippine Army's first land-based missile system battery also has plans to acquire the BrahMos. The Philippines zeroed in on the BrahMos after extensive trials and much of the negotiations have revolved around the cost of the system. India had offered a $100 million line of credit to the Philippines for defense purchases. India has been in talks with several Southeast Asian countries, including Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam, in recent years to sell them land and sea-based versions of the BrahMos. Thank you everyone for watching this video.